Hello everyone, welcome to Wildwood Studio. I'm Sarah, and in this week's video, I decided to do a smaller piece. This one is only 4x4 four four inches, and it's on European beech wood. As usual, throughout this entire video, I'm using my razor tip burning system, and I actually ended up using my spoon shader pen for the whole artwork, except for my signature. As for image choice, I decided to go with this frog because I wanted to work on something with a strong cast shadow and a dark background, which you'll be able to see later on. A lot of people think that doing a smaller work will be easier than doing a larger one, and this can be true in some cases, but when you get down to this size, there are some things that can become more difficult, mainly the fact that any mistake you make will take up more of the image and thus be more noticeable in the end. Also, since real life doesn't have a zoom function like, say, Photoshop, it can be a lot more difficult to work on detailed areas when the piece is smaller. Another thing that I find is, when I post smaller works on social media, the picture often ends up being displayed larger than the original artwork, and this can stretch things out and further emphasize any problem areas. All in all, this artwork took about 3 hours to complete, so definitely less time than my larger works, but pyrography is still a slow medium to work in, so it took a lot longer than if I was doing a drawing of a similar size, for example. The first thing I did with this work was very lightly shade the entire frog. This let me get rid of the pencil lines a lot sooner than if I tried to include the darker values as well. A quick tip if you're going for realism, even with something smooth like this, I always avoid doing an outline because it can flatten an image and make it look cartoony. This is especially true for animals with fur, and above all portraits, but it is also a good idea to keep in mind for things like this. After I was done with my first layer of shading on the frog, I decided to move on to the background and burn the top half black as I had planned. I didn't start out with this because I've had problems in the past where I accidentally changed the shape of what I was burning around and the background ended up looking like it was in front of the subject. And since there's no erasing once it's burned, I just had to start over in that case. On the other hand, having the background done before I totally finished the frog allowed me to go back in and darken up some areas of the frog and the cast shadow while being able to see how it would contrast with the background in the end. As usual, I finished up by going in and darkening some things further, smoothing out some of my shading, and adding in texture to some areas that needed it. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how this little guy turned out. I think he looks pretty good, and I hope you like it too. So that's about it for this video. If you want to see more of my work, you can check out my Facebook page. Also, please make sure to like this video if you haven't already, and subscribe to my channel for more weekly art videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.